up my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the middle of the month love readings i know we are a bit behind we're sorry but it's been crazy busy you guys i want to wish you also a happy uh holidays we are in the holiday season so i hope you guys are doing amazing let's get into your reading gemini let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month in regards to your love life now your first card here is the nine of swords the Three of Swords, whoa, the Magician, Queen of Wands, Partner or Person of Interest, Queen of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, heavy, heavy energy, Gemini. All right, <coughs> for those of you guys that are currently single, I feel that you guys are going into this transition of the nine of swords speaks to me about being or feeling stuck. But this is more of a like a thinking a pattern, a way of thinking. Um, it's not that you are actually physically incapable of moving on with the nine of swords. This is more on a mental aspect. So I see you guys very much in your head. With the Three of Swords, there is a feeling of some type of hurt, some type of betrayal that you're still carrying. Um, this could be that you're still refusing to heal through this process or you're refusing to let go of the past. Now, with the Magician card here, what they're telling you is you have the power to manifest or to bring into your life that which you want, that which you desire. But you have to stop doubting yourself, Gemini. With the Queen of Wands, you may be dealing with fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries type of energy. Uh, for others of you, you may be dealing with a Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I also see here air as well. So it could be a Libra, an Aquarian type of energy. But what they're saying here is you got to believe in yourself. The Queen of Wands is all to do with confidence, and these are your cards. So the Magician next to the Queen of Wands, you're able to attract the type of person that you're wanting, or you're able to uh, bring in a new relationship for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. I see you almost like feeling, um, feeling like you're tired of being hurt. You're tired of dealing with people that are not consistent. Now, this could be vice versa, Gemini. It is a general reading. Um, but the person of your interest, you know, they have the Queen of Pentacles here. So they see you as a person uh, that is very self-independent. With the King of Swords, you could come off a bit um, not as inviting. You could be very much in your head. But the way they see you is a bit of standoffish or, or a bit of not as welcoming or inviting. Uh, it could even represent that the person you're interested in feels that you're not interested in them uh, because you come off very standoffish, very cold and distant. Uh, but there is communication that opens up. And I, I want to say the end of November, the first two weeks of December, communication may surround or may start to happen uh, with this specific individual that you're interested in. Now, for those of you guys that are currently in a long-term committed relationship, if there's been any type of cheating or any type of past traumas that you guys have gone through, you may start to feel like those emotions come to surface again and you're kind of trying to deal with those emotions. What Spirit is telling you is, you know, allow them to come up. Don't suppress them. Uh, this could be the final stages of you healing. Oftentimes when we, you know, go through a, you know, a cheating, uh, some type of situation where the partner steps out or when we step out uh, and we come back together and we decide, you know, that our relationship is worth fighting for, we haven't fully healed from that hurt. We haven't fully healed from that betrayal. And what we do is we try to focus on the future but you're still carrying that hurt. So you have to deal with those emotions if they are coming to surface. It's kind of like when I tell my clients, if you're going to go back to a relationship where the person has betrayed your trust, 
And if you feel in your heart that you can get past that and that you're able to let it go, then great, move forward. But if you feel like you cannot let it go or you're constantly going to be reminded of that or you're constantly going to be throwing that in your partner's face, then what's really the point of holding on to that relationship? If anything, it creates more hurt. Why? Because you start to grow resent towards each other. And that's not, that's, you know, there's no pretty ending to that. So what they're telling you here is, again, believe in yourself, have faith in yourself. And if you feel that this is something that you constantly are dealing with, people that are cheaters or people that really have issues with commitment, what they're telling you is you need to take a practical approach. Stop being so flighty, Gemini. Uh, stop wishful thinking. You know, bring your feet to the ground and be practical in the approach of the opportunities that you give to people. This is something I always say. If you've given opportunities to people more than twice, that's more than enough. If at the first one we're human, the second one, well, it's it's becoming a habit. Um, so again, if you're feeling that type of energy, now is the time to pull away from that. Close the door to anything from the past that wants to creep back in here, Gemini, because they're not bringing you any type of stability. And I see you growing more empowered or stronger um, and you want to bring to you that which can match your energy. Uh, so again, with the Page of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, it, your luck is quickly going to be changing when we're talking about relationships. Now, for those of you guys that are currently in a long-term committed relationship, what they're saying here is you guys may be having issues in regards to expressing your emotions or expressing things that are bothering you about the partner or vice versa. Uh, and you guys, you know, wait till it becomes so overwhelming that you just explode or go off on each other. And what Spirit is telling you here is that you guys need to be more practical in the way you approach communication. Uh, try not to take things so personal, uh, especially when your partner's telling you or trying to give you some type of advice. Uh, take it from a loving place, even if it seems a bit um, like you're being bothered because of it, uh, what they're telling you is you guys need to work on communication. That's going to be crucial for you guys for uh, the end of this month, the beginning of next month, okay? All right, spirits, uh, please give me one specific message that you have for Gemini in regards to this situation, to their love life, spirits. Specific. All right, so we have reconciliation. I feel that the reconciliation already happened, but I feel that you guys are still caring or still dealing with past behaviors or past experiences. Um, what they're saying here is someone from your past is returning to your life. So I definitely do see that, um, you know, if you still haven't heard from them or there still hasn't been any type of contact, there will be contact. Um, again, like I said, if you feel like they are, you know, showing you in a practical way that they've changed and that they're willing to fight for you, then, you know, go with your intuition. But if you feel like it's just words that they're saying and there's not really, they're not really putting forth the effort in trying to gain you back or trying to gain your trust back, walk away from that. Stop embracing things from the past that are not serving you any good, Gemini. And if you are dealing with a situation where you were hurt and bruised and you feel like you were taken advantage of, it's time to start letting go of that type of energy so that you can put out positive energy and be able to pull towards you a specific individual that is ready for what you're wanting to manifest in a relationship, okay? All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight or clarity. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.